Bonjour et bienvenue à La Rochelle. Hello and welcome to La Rochelle. Today we'd like to present a very special boat, the Mary Fisher 695 Series 2. It has the same keel as the Mary Fisher 695 Series 1, but it is a completely new boat. It also retains the outboard motorization, but has a new deck layout, a new wheelhouse, and many amenities that will certainly remind you of its big brother, the Mary Fisher 795. When you come aboard this new Mary Fisher, you immediately notice the two large swim platforms, one on each side of the outboard. These platforms are wide and flush with the transom. There is no step. You will also see the handrail and the swim ladder, which make getting in and out of the water very easy. The cockpit is secured by a gate. The trick to getting such a large and vast cockpit is the sliding bench seat system. It allows the bench to slide aft while cruising and forward when raising the outboard. As standard equipment, there is a full-width bench seat to the aft of the boat. But it is also possible to add additional extensions to create L or even U-shaped cockpit seating. This results in a really friendly and welcoming cockpit saloon. It is also possible to use this table as a way to transform the whole back of the boat into a large sunbed. Under the cockpit table, there is access to a large storage locker. The main and auxiliary batteries are also located here. Moving around on board is really easy and secure. You have a good sized step for access to the side decks, one on each side of the wheelhouse, that are made secure by grab rails on the wheelhouse and the handrails. In addition to the grab rails, optional crossbars are available for transporting, for example, paddle boards or surfboards. Continuing forward, the foredeck is particularly flat, so it is safe and easy to move around. Between the windshield and the anchor well, you have a sunbed. Finally, on the bow, there is a very wide anchor well that can also store anchoring equipment and an optional electric windlass. Access to the wheelhouse is through this three-panel sliding glass door. These three panels open wide, so getting into the wheelhouse is easy, but it also opens up the interior to the cockpit. At the entrance, you have access to the power switches, neatly hidden behind a plexiglass door. On the port side, there is a very large window which descends almost to table level, to let in as much light as possible. The ventilation is very good, thanks to the sliding windows located on each side. The beautiful table and face-to-face -face seating round out the saloon. The table folds, like this, to make space for the co-pilot seat, a signature Jano feature, and a real comfort on board. The helm station is to starboard. It is fully equipped, with plenty of space on the instrument panel to accommodate screens up to 12 inches. Here you have a Garmin 9-inch screen and the engine instrumentation. The boat can be equipped with either mechanical controls or electrical controls. To facilitate maneuvering in port, it is also possible to equip the boat with an optional bow thruster. The pilot's seat tilts forward, like this, to free up space for the galley. The standard galley is white and is equipped with two sinks. This particular boat is equipped with the new gas stove option. This new option includes a black ARPA countertop, where the second sink is replaced by the gas burner and two stainless steel drink holders. The gas cylinder is cleverly located on the outside, inside the step that leads to the side deck. There is storage space behind the sink, and under the galley there is a large cupboard. In terms of storage, there is additional space located under the floor. And finally, here is a refrigerator, installed artfully under the saloon bench seat. It is possible to equip the boat here, below the cockpit, with an optional head. It includes a marine toilet, a wastewater tank, obviously, a sink and a small portal for ventilation. The forepeak has a double V-berth. There is a hatch in the foredeck for excellent ventilation and light. 
Under the double berth, there is plenty of storage space. And also, access to a new storage space located under the saloon, designed to store the optional cushions. In terms of motorization, the new Mary Fisher 695 Series 2 can be equipped with outboard motors from 115 to 175 horsepower. In the end, it's a boat that is a pleasure to cruise in, with excellent stability, thanks to the Jeannot-designed hull. It's clear to see the new Mary Fisher 695 Series 2 has what it takes to remain a market-leading bestseller. As you've seen, this boat includes many of the features on the Mary Fisher 795, its big brother, but in a smaller, more compact size at a more affordable price. It has an overall beam of less than 2.55 meters, so it is transportable, fits in smaller slip spaces or in dry docks. For more information on this boat, we invite you to meet with your local Jeannot dealer or come and see us at a boat show. We'll see you soon for our next tour.